How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the difference between asymmetric and symmetric bowling balls. Stay tuned. Alrighty everybody, like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the difference between an asymmetric and a symmetric bowling ball. My name is Ben LaPointe, if you don't already know me. Um, basically, here today we got two bowling balls. We got the Storm Virtual Energy Blackout and the Storm Fate. The only difference between these two bowling balls, aside from color, because obviously you can see that they are different in color, um, the only difference between them is the core. Uh, both covers are REX Pearl, uh, pretty clean, pretty strong off the back cover. Um, they've used it on the Night Road as well, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they've used it on a couple other releases. But for the most part, they're the same bowling ball. The difference is, is the core on the inside. We got the Shape Log HD core found in the new Virtual Energy Blackout. Um, and then we got the F8 core in the Fate. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the numbers for each of these bowling balls on the screen right now, just so you can have a look. Um, basically, in a nutshell, the simplest way to put it is the difference between an asymmetric and a symmetric bowling ball is starting point and how smooth it makes a ball down lane. Um, you'll see it from the shots we throw. I threw a couple shots with both balls to kind of show you exactly what the difference is on the lanes. Uh, a lot of people don't look a whole lot into the numbers, but again, I'll put the numbers on the screen once again. Um, Basically, this is going to start up a little earlier, be a little smoother down lane, and the fate is going to be a little cleaner with a little more pop off the back. Obviously, uh, you can change ball reaction with surface, layouts, uh, layouts not so much, more so surface, but these came right out of the box at reactor gloss finish, so everything has been held constant, including the layout, uh, five and a quarter by four and a quarter by three. Uh, let's get out there. We'll see what we see out of these two bowling balls and then we'll come back to the shop and talk about it. One thing I want to mention before we get into throwing some shots, I just want to I want to thank Marson Bowl, Jeff Wickens, everybody uh, that helps me film the videos and helps me uh, make these possible. Uh, without them, I could not be doing what I do and having you guys support me helps greatly as well. So I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank the staff here. Uh, let's get right into it. everybody just back out from the lanes and as you can see uh, the virtual energy blackout was just a touch smoother than the uh, fate I found that and this I just drilled yesterday this is right out of the box this has got a few games on it already but I found that the further right I stood the better the virtual energy blackout looked just because I wanted to slow down just a touch more didn't want to really overreact off the friction and then the fate looked a little bit better once I got into the middle lane and a little further left. Once I got to that last uh, move I made there of standing around 30 board, um, they both kind of uh, 
they didn't finish properly and it was for two completely different reasons. This one was just the core was starting up just a little too early and it was kind of using all of its energy, didn't want to make the corner. This one here was just a little too clean and never really wanted to grab the grab the lane and make a transition. If, there, if it was a little drier out there, this ball would have been perfect for that situation. And that's kind of why these bowling balls are a great one-two punch because with the same cover, you really don't have to sacrifice a uh, different reaction you, out, of the, out of the cores. Like you can start with this wall, well, depends on where you're bowling on. You could like, let's say be in transition with this one and you can get, as you get a little further to the left and it starts to dry up a little bit, you should be able to get into the fate and have the same basic ball reaction. You should have the same shape. And that's what's really nice about having two balls with the same cover in your bag. Same core is not always fantastic because if one core is locking up, chances are the other one's going to lock up even if it's got a pro cover. Another thing I kind of want to mention is that the virtual energy blackout here, just because it's an asymmetric pearl, doesn't always mean that every asymmetric pearl is going to react exactly like this one. The numbers of the core and the cover combination they put on it typically uh, has made this ball nice and clean, really smooth and still strong off the back. But the exotic gem, the, uh, the Eternity, the original Eternity, they're asymmetric pearls as well. And they make very different motions down lane between each other and this. Same thing goes with symmetric, uh, symmetric pearls. The Zen, a little earlier rolling. Uh, duo really earlier uh, a little earlier rolling I guess I should say the fate is more of a bottom of the bag it's cleaner and if storm had put the meditate core from the Zen in this one and they put the uh, the core from the exotic gem in this one we could be looking at two completely different bowling balls all right everybody that basically wraps up the video I didn't expect it to be a long one today uh, it's just not a lot of people know or not everybody knows what the difference is between an uh, asymmetric and a symmetric uh, bowling ball. I'll also not a whole lot of other people know that all asymmetric uh, bowling balls and all symmetric bowling balls are built the same. Uh, there's differences in everything and that's why we have so many bowling balls out there nowadays. Uh, but like I said, that kind of wraps up today's video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in the next one.